the musical revival of Company here performing the song Company, nominated for nine Tony Awards uh, this year, the 75th anniversary of the Tony Awards. And uh, we're so fortunate to have with us one of those nine. This Matt Doyle joining us now. Uh, Hello. Nominated, <laughs> Hello. Nominated for his role as uh, Jamie in Best, uh, how do we say this? Best, best Featured, yeah. By a featured <laughs> actor. No, by an actor in a featured performance. Matt. Thank you for being with us. Congratulations. First Thank nomination. You. First nomination. Unbelievable. I've been in this business for about 16 years now since I was uh, 19 years old, and I'm just floored and so honored. This has been such such a, a long journey, bringing the company back to the stage through the pandemic and everything. So to be sitting here now with this news, I am I'm honored and just uh, elated. <laughs> and just looking at the shows uh, that you have uh, been involved in, the book yeah. Of Mormon. I'm looking at your IBDB right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> War Horse. Um, just in making these decisions, how how did this one fall into your lap? Because when you're talking about legendary, um, not to take anything away from the other ones, but the yeah. Stephen Sondheim connection. How'd you get the role? Was it tough to get? Yeah, you know, I was fortunate enough to know Marianne Elliott from working with her on War Horse, and uh, she originally called me in for the role of Paul, who's actually my husband in the show, or husband-to-be in the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went in and prepared for that role, and as soon as I started reading for it, and I had said to her, I really think that I'm a Jamie, and she said, no, 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 come in for Paul. So I went in for Paul, and I started singing for Paul, and she stopped me right in the middle of the audition and said, oh, you're right, you are a Jamie, and asked me to just start doing Jamie's music material on the spot, which is very, very difficult. Uh, it's a very hard song. Um, and then they gave me about 24 hours to learn that material and come back in. And uh, luckily, I, I knew Sondheim from working on a, a production of Sweeney Todd off Broadway. So it was a, really a marriage of just uh, past experiences and where my career had led and, you know, really forming those relationships and being in the right place and the right role coming along. Speaking of marriage and the yes. song, <laughs> Getting yes. married today. I mean, yeah. talk about dense. It's yes. fast. It must be exhilarating, tiring. Can you? We don't have video because you know something like that. They want to save that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if we get it, we'll show everybody. But, yes, absolutely. Uh, we don't have it right this second. Can you describe <laughs> it for those who don't know exactly what the song is about and what it takes from you as an actor? Yeah, so it's a very, very quick song. It's a, a We refer to it as a patter song, but the lyrics move at lightning speed. Part of me is everybody there because if everybody's there, it's very, <laughs> very, very quick, and it just has to roll off the tongue. Um, I'm also doing very broad physical comedy throughout the whole piece, and it's basically a panic attack throughout a song. <laughs> and I, my character, Jamie, is terrified of getting married, and it's all of his insecurities and fears coming out in about a four-minute number as he has this breakdown in front of the audience audience, which I think is really cathartic for the audience every night because of the reaction that they all have from it. It's very, very celebratory. And uh, I think, you know, we've all dealt with a lot of anxiety over yeah. the past few years. So that release for the audience every night is probably much needed. <laughs> I, I think also when I saw it, I, I didn't, I saw Company years ago, so it's, yeah. it was not all fresh in my mind. I didn't know, honestly, it was like all a new show, which is what every Broadway performance should be. So yeah. when that came and, you know, then your energy just, wow, yes, you take us with us. We're sitting a little bit more on the edge of our seats, yeah. um, not knowing, you know, we're listening to the words, but uh, it is such a, um, I don't know, it's like every time that you do that, is 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 it, there always one way? I'm wondering in your, you did have contact with Stephen Sondheim. Yeah. Did he yeah. comment on how you did that or any of your other work? Absolutely. I mean, he was really heavily involved in this production, especially in the 2020 process, because we originally were supposed to open then. Um, but before his passing, he was noting us until, you know, a couple of days before he passed. And he was such a fan of this production and also um, really, really, really cared about the lyrics and the words and his writing and wanted to make sure that it was delivered um, the way that he intended it to be delivered. And uh, he really helped me with the speed of the 
of the song and also really helped me find each individual thought and making mm. sure that as long as the thoughts were there and as long as the intention was behind every single thought and there are many in the song um then then the speed would be there and it would land the way that i wanted it to and he was right i mean as soon as i dropped into that and and took the time and care into really making sure that every single thought was there mm. it uh it got easier it apparently worked, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm so, so grateful. I just can't oh, believe it. Yeah, it's been. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How many people can say they got notes from Stephen Sondheim? I mean, what I mean, a true experience for you. I'm happy. Utterly for you. profound. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck, nominated for his role as Jamie in Company, best performance by a featured actor in a musical. I'm happy for you. Best of luck. Have fun, Jamie. Thank you so much. <laughs> How's that for the compliment? Have yes. Fun. Matt, have fun. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're Thank welcome. you. <laughs> you can see the 75th annual Tony Awards hosted by Tony nominee and West Side Story Oscar winner Ariana DeBose on Sunday, June 12th. Coverage begins streaming on Paramount Plus at 7 p.m. The awards ceremony will be on CBS 2 at 8 o'clock.